What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see behind me, we have sort of a situation here. Um, you'll see what that is in a future video, but we got Ali's car and then mine in front of his. And in today's video, um, he's going to be helping me do the body work um, on my car. It's not really that, we don't have to go that deep into the body work. We're just trying to remove some deep scratches from when my car got keyed and primarily just try to get all the scratches out of the trunk because as you know i traded my carbon fiber trunk for that one and it's in really bad condition but besides that we may or may not bondo that one um dent that was fixed by steve back in the day but uh we'll see how today goes but yeah i'm really excited because as you saw in the last video or previous videos the front end is complete so now we are doing wrap prep so this may or may not be a two-part video but uh, without further ado i'm just going to show you guys what needs to be sanded down and whatnot and then uh we'll just go from there so yeah all right guys so most of the left side like front door slash part of the left rear door uh, there isn't that many scratches i mean there is like it may not be visible on camera but they're not deep scratches so i could remove those when i clay bar the car and wash it but the ones that i really need or i want to get out so they don't show through in the wrap is uh, this one over here up here and there may or may not be more i don't really know yet but this is also the dent i was talking about we just have to put a tiny piece of bondo there to make it flush but besides that um oh and also got some scratches on the headline or the roof but yeah most of it like i said is on the trunk you can visibly see this and then for some reason there's like a tiger scratch over here it's like in really bad condition i don't really know what i want to do with this yet um to be honest uh, i might or may not get a new trunk in the future so i don't really know how deep i want to go with this so i may just wrap over it but uh who knows we'll see um and then there's also like this mark over here i don't know if that's like adhesive that has been covered in dirt and grime or if that's some type of scratch but besides that there's a nick on my like gas tank slash part of the quarter and then besides that i'm pretty sure that's it in terms of like deep scratches um there's one weird one down here. Yeah, you can clearly see that. That's very deep. Um, and then two up here. And there's like this weird dent over here, but this is, might just be paint transfer, but I didn't even know this dent existed. So I may or may not call Steve to do that, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna set you guys in time-lapse. We're gonna start sanding down the left and right sides and then save the end of the video or like the later part of the video for where we do the most work on the trunk because that's where we're going to be spending most of our time so we might as well get the left and right sides done first but um yeah i'm going to save you guys some time lapse guys here's our progress so far i managed to remove uh, most of the uh, deep scratches that were in there Keep life. <laughs> but um so i started with 320 and then went up to 400 and then skipped to 800 and now it's uh well i'm holding it with the wrong here give me a second it's really flush now so I'm gonna go up to 1,000 and then end it off with 2,000 and then we should be good for the left rear quarter. I'm gonna do another um, second round check for the left side door panels. Uh, sorry, not door panels, doors themselves before going on to the right side. And then after that, we're going to the trunk because that's the most scratched up portion. But so far, so good. I'm happy with this progress. First time I'm doing this. He's wrapping his chrome trim right now. Let's see how this is going.
That's crazy. Hey, if you guys need any wrap services, hit us up. Yeah, charge like 20 bucks. Yeah. You gotta say you gotta sign an NDA before you do it though. Oh yeah, yeah, because you know, we offer services like no other. And you can't we can't let go of trade secrets, you know. Ow! Ah, I just burned myself. <laughs> Wait, yo, he just joined the club, you know? He has Bluetooth top hats now. Oh, yeah. He was retightening his top hats because he wanted to put on his camber plates. And he tightened the uh, top hat nut too tight, so the stud broke off with it. So he joined the gang, the Bluetooth top hat gang. Anyways, I'm going to go back to this. And then once I'm done, go to the left side or right side. All right, guys, we're going to take a brief intermission from sanding. Um... I found my old OEM chrome grills that used to be on my car before I switched them to the black ones and we're gonna put them in Olive's car. I think it'll really tie it together especially because he has like chrome trim now. His chrome looks the best and only... I was gonna say a bad word. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah just pop the hood. Yeah you guys wanna see this beast? You guys wanna see uh, the only E90 homologation car that came in a 328 package? Yeah, it's like the fastest car in Virginia right now. It's these, you gotta unscrew those. Okay. Yeah, this is for a downforce. Uh, you guys see this That's right my here? oil catch can for my turbo. You guys see this big charge pipe? Yeah, dude. It's, it's like stage 10, full bolt on. And then you see the blow off valve right here? It's a Gretty blow off valve. Yeah, you guys wanna know about this? Like, super sick, like, drag stance car. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I smell like fast. <laughs> 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 I didn't think you were Dude! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Vector. Oh yeah. Vector. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Vector. Vector. Well, you gotta do the dance. How did the dance go? It's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Vector. <laughs> it's really dark right now but so far we have the what is this the it's the top of the quarter i don't know if it's called the c pillar or not but yeah we have this area um it's very smooth now uh besides that i did my gas tank but i haven't done the one that's like somewhere there but i think after this we should be good but i want to check again tomorrow when there's sunlight so i'll probably finish this the whole thing tomorrow but um yeah so so far so good we're making real progress right now we put the chrome trim on olive's car it looks very good because of how he has his everything set up but um yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow
All right, guys, so little progress report or update on this situation. Um, the left quarter had um, some more scratches, so I finished off this side. And after that, I ended up doing the right side, didn't have as many, just the one up here in the quarter, the gas cap. Um, on the doors, on the rear door, uh, front door, and then there's that big scratch down there, which I also managed to sand out. And then I started this on camera, but I've finished most of it or the top of the trunk lid at least I finished off camera. And then as you guys just saw, I did the uh, part of the trunk lid that's facing the world. And uh, I got this done. Now the final step is to remove some more scratches here and then do the underside, which is the biggest problem. But once we do that, uh, all I have to do is um, sand down the piece that um, Steve uh, removed the dent from and then we bondo this and then uh, I forget which one I think it's this one there's a few like rock chips that are like really deep and they have like a divot in the trunk or in whatever body panel I'm referring to so I'm just gonna put like a very small piece of bondo just to flatten it out same thing with up here once I actually sand this down. But once we do this, we're pretty much good to go. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna get back to it, uh, put you guys on time lapse, and then show you guys the after once everything has been completed. But we're getting there. What's up guys so i'm actually at work right now i'm just sitting in the car um i realized that i never recorded an outro for this video but long story short we actually finished the bodywork. i bondo the right rear door i bondo the upper pillar in between the a and b pillar um we removed the tiger scratch from underneath the trunk like where the uh trunk latch button is um we got a lot done most of it was on camera some of it was off camera a lot of it was in between the making of another video and you guys will see this in the future but uh well in like future videos i mean um certain clips and certain videos sort of overlap with like what you see in the background and whatnot it won't really make sense now but essentially i started this video standalone but because of how fast I was moving with wanting to finish this, things overlapped and I sort of just did things as I went, but I recorded things like on the go as well. So to like to try to, what's the word? Like to try to have everything in uh, like uh, the proper timeline, if that makes sense. But I can't show you guys the car right now because it's already wrapped, which is uh, crazy to say because it's felt so long since I started this video, but just stay tuned for the next coming videos. We got some really good content coming up. Uh, the car is finally complete. However, I won't show you guys that now. Even if I were to show you, the video would be black and white and no one wants to tease. So um, I'm just gonna hand, well, I'm just gonna sign off on this video. We're gonna finish it. Um, the bodywork actually wasn't that bad. It actually turned out really well. I didn't have to bondo the uh, really deep scratch on next to the uh, trunk latch button. Um, you'll see a clip of me talking about like sanding out the trunk latch button in the video where I wrapped the car. However, I wasn't able to record it um, for this just because I was like really, I was just trying to get this done as soon as possible. Um, from the moment this video started, the the process of me finishing this build was exponentially quick because i was doing things all at the same time um, i recorded a bunch of videos standalone however they sort of just jumbled up into one where like i was working on eight things at once but enough of me rambling uh i'm just gonna sign off on this video uh stay tuned for the next few videos because we got some really good content coming up like i said um but yeah guys i'm really excited because 
this video marks technically the start of being able to wrap the car so um don't forget nothing's impossible i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out Thank you.